Hi, my name is Luke Valentine from IO Interactive. So listen up. Now the king hangs out near the pagoda in the center of town, where a unit of dirty cops guard his every move. And he rarely leaves the crowd, except to meet up with his dealer in a pad overlooking the square. He also got a swanky European ride parked in a nearby alley, but that's all I got, Holmes. So, call me back when you're done. Got it? So, um, King of Chinatown is the, the third level that we're showing people um, from Hitman Absolution. And it's a, it's, a, it's a level from the second act of Hitman Absolution, so it's fairly early in the game. Um, but it's the first time that we're going to show a hit uh, in Hitman Absolution. And, um, we show Hitman, he's given a briefing. Uh, this time it's from a character called Birdie. It's not from the agency because at this point Hitman is, is outside of the agency. But he's been given a briefing by a character called Birdie and Birdie wants some information. And uh, it's only by taking out the King of Chinatown that, that Birdie will give Agent 47 this information. So you have um, a crowded area, a, cr a crowded Chinatown um, and you have many, many ways to take the King of Chinatown out. There's a, a huge amount of replay, replayability and a huge amount of surprises in that level. Hey, King! Wow! Love in the suit! Love in the suit! Is it tailor-made? Man, I gotta get me one of those. Cut the crap. Whoa! Gotcha! So how much product are we talking about? All of it? Shit! No problem. Alright, just uh, let me make a few calls. I'll get back to you in ten. You'll be back in five. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back in five. Last E3 we showed um, um, a level with quite a lot of stealth, yeah. and, and we showed like one playthrough, and we, we showed no deviation from that at all. Uh, when we showed uh, the orphanage in, in January, we, we decided to show two, playthrough, two playthroughs, so we showed uh, the stealthy one and the action one. Um, and now we're, showing, uh, now we're showing a hit. But it's, it's so hard to show everything at every time, every opportunity that we have to, to show yeah. a guy. So it's just... It's just um, it's just the time in the campaign that we're deciding to do this. Yeah, so you have the King of Chinatown. He's, he's being protected by bribed policemen. Um, you could, in theory, just uh, walk straight up to him and shoot him or, or kill him with your bare hands. But, of course, that would um, alert all the police, and the police would start firing, and, you, and you'd, it'd be very hard to escape. Um, you can uh, create, basically, an accidental kill. You can, you can poison his food. It's possible to find poison in the level and poison his food, or poison his drugs, or poison his coffee, and, and then kind of sit back and just watch, watch this happen. Um, you can snipe him as well. You can find a sniper rifle and just find, find a good vantage point and snipe him, or you can make things fall on him, or you can push him down a hole. Um, so you've got plenty of ways to kill him. You can even blow him up um, with, a, with, a, with an explosive. So um, uh, th there's quite a rich um, arsenal at your, at your um, you know, that's available to you. Um, also, with the challenge system, um, you've, you've constantly been uh, encouraged to replay the level because uh, it's basically impossible to clear all the challenges in one playthrough. So um, by playing the level again and again, you can complete all the challenges and then get a higher score. Yeah, a lot of work's gone into it, into a, the close combat system. We, want, we wanted it to, to be um, quite violent and, and quite um, effective. So we wanted Hitman to be able to take out uh, an opponent, opponent with very few attacks and just show his, his strength and just show this as a, a trained killer who can kill with his bare hands. There's no coin. You're not, you're not uh, default equipped with a coin, but you, there are many things in the environment um, that you can pick up and do stuff with. So, um, yeah, you could pick up a brick or a bottle and you could toss it and you can, you can control the direction and the, and the height of, of the throw. And the noise of the impact will, will create people being cautious or being curious, I should say. So people, uh, AI will walk towards the sounds and then you can do something else. You can basically create distractions. Yeah. What's more, of course, is if you, if you have something like a, a screwdriver <laughs> or a knife, um, you could use it as a distraction, but you could also use it as a, as a, as a ranged weapon or as a, as, a, as a close combat attack weapon. If there's a cop uh, in a... In a quiet place, if he becomes aware of you, um, if you're able to stop him being aware of you by subduing or by killing him. Um, so long as you hide the body, so long as nobody sees it, then nobody else will be aware of it, so long as they don't see the body or they don't see a blood pool or something yeah. like that. 
Similarly with the crowd, if you pull out a weapon, they'll see an arm, the crowd will see an armed man uh, in, in, in a crowd and they'll start to be scared. By sheathing the weapons, they'll go back to being calm again. But if a policeman sees a guy with, uh, uh, who's armed, they'll start attacking you. Yeah. In the E3 demo, we're presenting the fact that we have five difficulty settings. We're, we're presenting the fact that um, we're aware that there's, there's hardcore fans who, who want um, something very special, something very challenging, and for them we're giving uh, purest difficulty mode. And as the details of it, um, we'll talk more about that later in the campaign. Agency. You want me to snoop around the agency? Were you crazy? Yeah, you crazy. <laughs>